macrophages are found throughout your body. Um, they're part of the immune system. They're, they're also found in your liver and spleen, and, and there they have a particularly important role to, to clear things from your blood circulation, flowing through your spleen. They'll recognize uh, what are foreign microbes, uh, bacteria, viruses, uh, dead cells distinct from uh, living cells that should be in the blood, right? They're like border patrol guards, right? And, and, and they clean out the foreign and allow the cell to, to survive. Um, in modern times, in, in the last decade or so, you know, many people have devel developed uh, particles and other things they want to put in the bloodstream, in the body, uh, and macrophages are attacking those as foreign, right? And so the, this is the basic problem. We'd like these particles to be recognized as self. Macrophages mean a, a giant eating cell, right? And so they're distinguishing, trying to distinguish what belongs in the body from what doesn't. And it turned out about a decade ago that um, there's a particular protein on our own cells that uh, serves as a molecular passport to, to the macrophages, these, these border patrol type cells. Um, and, and we sought to reduce this to the simplest possible molecule, a, a, a minimal peptide, that we, that we here at Penn could, could attach to nanoparticles and um, inject, uh, and I should say we have the human passport, inject into, into mice and test this ability to, to, to circulate uh, and uh, you know, fool the, the immune system, fool the macrophages into thinking our plastic is, uh, it belongs to the body. We thought the best way to, to test this idea was to have particles, uh, nanoparticles, that uh, have a passport, right, and uh, particles that don't, uh, mixed equally and injected into the bloodstream of these, of these mice. And, uh, and then we, we did this and measured uh, particle ratio, particle numbers, uh, after we injected. And then at 30 minutes, we had up to four, four times more particles with the passport than, than without. Uh, and so, you know, that looked encouraging. We thought, well, if that's true, then we should have the particles with passport be able to perfuse the bloodstream of tumors and leak into tumors and we could see tumors better, right? And so sure enough, we did that experiment and could really see the tumors much better when the particles uh, had, uh, had the passport than particles without. So, so I, you know, I think we basically showed what we set out to, that we could fool the immune system with, when we had the particles with the passport uh, as opposed to without.